We all know that uh, jobs are going to change in the future. Many of us have said that uh, of the jobs that exist today, 50% of them didn't exist 10 years ago. Thus, one thing is for sure, in 10 years from now, there will be many jobs, probably even more than 50%, of which we don't know yet what they will be today. Let me take one example, uh, accountancy. It's a job that probably can be automated to a very large extent. So the accountants of the future will be very different of what they are today. They probably will be people that not necessarily um, organize information, but that will be in the business of interpreting information. Information that will be um, prepared by computers and by other systems. If we uh, want to prepare ourselves from, for these future jobs, the jobs that we don't know yet what they are today, if we want to prepare ourselves for these future jobs, we probably will have to learn one very important skill, and that is the skill to learn to learn. How can we improve our learning? Because we will have to adjust ourselves. Many of us know that we will have to work longer. The professional careers, in particular in aging societies, will be longer than what they are today. And during such a professional career, we will have to constantly change. Every two, three, four years, we probably will have to change jobs, have learned new ideas, new skills, uh, new uh, capabilities. Uh, the, 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 the skill to learn these new capabilities will be crucial in the success of your professional career. And not only we will have different jobs, we will have to work longer, but at the same time we, we will work probably in very different organizations. Organizations today, as they are structured, very hierarchical, very well defined, were probably invented at the end of the 19th century and were, were refined during the 20th century. But the future is probably more for organizations where independent actors work together. In effect, a sort of collection of entrepreneurs, small entrepreneurs that work together to create value for society. I see it more as an ecosystem, an ecosystem in which everybody behaves independently, has his own job, works perhaps as what we know in some industries as freelancers, but work together to create value for society. It's going to be an interesting period working longer, doing many more different jobs, and working in very different organizations.